<laughs> well, if ever there was a fixture that most people associate with southwestern deserts, it's tumbleweed. And this is tumbleweed. It's actually not a native species here in the Great Basin Desert. It was introduced accidentally from Asia back in the 1870s into central Canada. And because of the unique way that this plant reproduces, it actually tumbled its way all the way to Mexico in about 25 years after its introduction. And today, it's common everywhere across the desert southwest. It has a really neat ecology. The way this plant reproduces is it produces tons of seed up here in the tumbleweed bush itself. But instead of just dispersing the seed, the plant becomes detached and it just sort of tumbles across the landscape, spreading seed as it goes. Really neat plant, but unfortunately not native. It's invasive. It's from Asia. But there are lots of natives here. Um, the place we're at right now is actually another one of these desert oases. This is Toll House Spring in the Inyo and White Mountain sort of pass. And if you're coming down through the pass here and your car overheats, they actually have a cistern where you can fill up your radiator tank with, with water. And if you come here in the evening, you may feel like you're being watched. And that's because lots of wildlife use this oasis to drink. Just like in the Colorado and the Mojave Deserts here in the Great Basin, water drives everything. A couple nights ago, we were coming down through here and actually saw something that I had never seen alive before right here in the road. It was a skunk, a little spotted skunk. In fact, the only two skunk species we have here in the White Mountains are the striped skunk, which is the skunk most of us are familiar with. It can range from 6 to 14 pounds, and the little tiny spotted skunk. The spotted skunk is much smaller, ranges from less than a pound to just a little over two pounds in weight. Well, these permanent sources of water like this cistern are also places where winged mammals like to come and both get water and also glean insects from the surface. You come here at night, you can see one after the other bats flying to the surface of the water and gleaning insects and taking a drink right off the top of this man-made cistern. Well, it's not all man-made here. We're actually at a natural spring, and the wetland that you find here in the Great Basin along these springs is filled with wetland species of plants. It's just so bizarre to see wetland species out here in the middle of the desert. Things like the rushes, the willows, and a beautiful stand of cottonwood trees right up here behind us. 